What up, what up, what up? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? You boys, welcome back to another Madden 25 online rank match. And today, this is actually my first PS4 online rank match. So, you know, I had to show love with my Niners. Right? Of course, we had to break in the first online rank match with the San Francisco 49ers. And uh, my opponent went ahead and grabbed the Seattle Seahawks. So, it turns out to be a little, little bit of an interesting game. So, um, the PS4 is a little different you know they were doing a lot of maintenance i guess yesterday so uh getting a game was like damn near impossible <laughs> finally was able to squeeze this one in during the live stream so uh hopefully we can go on ahead and still you know have success uh, i don't know the likely look at frank gorgeous rumbling bumbling stumbling running folks over though that old school ps3 running somebody over um i don't know exactly uh what it is I'm going to do playing online ranked matches. I don't know. I looked at the top 100. And I don't I don't think it's, it's going to take a long, long time for me to reach that, if at all possible. Because the, the last one was like 2,400 skill points. And that's a lot of skill points to get, man. So I need like 400 some odd skill points to even crack top 100. I don't, I don't even think I'm going to make a quest for the top 100 on PS4. As Frank Gore... Ends up getting into the end zone right there on that Russian play. So, uh, you know, as far as, you know, I, I experienced from the PS4, man, uh, as far as Madden goes, there's, there's zero difference between this and uh, Xbox One. You know, it plays exactly the same. There's absolutely no difference. As, you know, you should expect. You know what I mean? You shouldn't expect that big of a difference considering they're both, um, you know, next-gen consoles. So, um, I'm very happy that now I'm actually uh, able to play, you know, any viewers or subscribers that have ps4 you know uh, i was in the uh the live stream like i said playing so i played a couple of uh viewers so now i'm actually able to go on ahead and and play some ps4 folks and i know a lot of them was actually happy that now they have an opportunity to get a chance to uh blow me out <laughs> so um that right there is it's, it's always fun you know going up against viewers so uh you know different system same scheme run the ball until i'm forced to pass right we go to the modified screen Try to get Davis loose, but that right there really didn't result in anything. So, all right, we go back to the run, and we are just absolutely just dominating him with the run. Right there, you see, we got a $10 donation from King Siraj. Uh, definitely got to, you know, be thankful for anybody willing to go on ahead and uh, show love for your, your content and streaming by donating. So, uh, he donated that 10 bucks, and he left a message saying that, come on, son, you dunking me with your Niners. Why are you doing that? We got to get a game in. So I'm like, oh, okay. You know, you went ahead. You showed love by donating, like I said, which we appreciate so, so much. Because something he didn't have to do is something he wanted to do. So I um, was like, okay, well, we'll definitely get a game in. So after this game, you will see the result of that. Me and him get a game in, um, which uh, you are going to see after this game. So, uh, And he also wanted my Niners. He called out my Niners. And he's like, uh, he wanted me to use my Niners. So it uh, turned out to be a good game. So. Fourth down right, he decides to go for a fake punt, and that went absolutely nowhere. So after that, we just get our first rage quit. So we are 1-0 and on the PS4, and I'm feeling damn good about it, man. So after that game, you know, like I said, after King Siraj went ahead and uh, donated, called me out on my Niners, we went ahead and got a game in right after this. So uh, that's the next game we're going to go on ahead and jump into. So uh, I, I don't know what. Maybe he, he, he wanted to embarrass me. That's what it was. Or maybe he's genuinely... A, a Jaguars fan I don't I don't know but um, he definitely told me to get my Niners and he went with the Jaguars so I'm like okay he's he's trying to just make me look bad in front of everybody in the live stream he, he's trying to he's trying to you know send me a donation and then beat me and like you know just make me look bad in front of everybody so I'm like okay he's going with the Jags you know typically like I always say if you know what you're doing it doesn't matter what unless it's mutt you know mutt's a big difference but you know, regular ranked matches are regular teams. If you know what you're doing, one team can beat any team. It doesn't matter. Um, it is going to be a little tougher for him to, to uh, beat the Niners because the Niners get a lot of things that the Jaguars won't, like, you know, automatic CPU hit sticks and block shit. Look at the first one right here. Tiger! And we run to the right. Tiger! Two-piece. Tiger! Three-piece. Another! Tiger! Four-piece. <laughs> and I was going, everybody went nuts in the live stream when they seen that. So... Of course, like, you know, I, I, I remove that from my game when, when I do online ring matches. But, you know, when that man called me out in front of everybody and told me to use the Niners against this Jags, like, you know what? We, we got to pull out all the stops, man. We got to pull the Tiger out. We, we just got to, man. We got to. We, 
We can't allow him to make us look bad now, can we? So we got to try and make it do what it do, baby. We got to do our best. No, I actually never uh, play, like when I play subs or viewers and stuff like that, I actually never play uh, serious. I mean, I just play to have fun. You know what I mean? If I happen to win, so be it. But I don't play to win. You know what I mean? I just play to have fun. Like I said, if I happen to win, I just do. But, um, you know, most of the times the viewers, they, uh, you know, try to make me look bad. <laughs> and uh, I understand. I understand. But, you know, for the most part, as we get an interception right there, no of you. Give it to me, baby. Oh, that's a beautiful throw, King. He was he was wide open. He was wide open, man. I typically never run the ball um, when I play against viewers. I usually just come out just passing the ball, like the teabag and things like that. Like, uh, when I play viewers, I just want to have a good time. I want to have fun. You know, I want to be able to, uh, you know, just enjoy the game playing with, you know, obviously people who support, you know, the videos I do on YouTube or support the hours that I put in streaming every day, you know, things like that. So, um... But uh, right here, you know, I'm definitely playing him a little different. You know, I'm running a lot more than I usually do against viewers. And so far, being a little successful with it, you know. Uh, and like I said, man, um, any team can beat any team. But it is just going to be a little bit more difficult going up against the Niners. And you have the Jaguars. They don't have, you know, the, the defensive powerhouse that, say, the Niners have. You know, so uh, running the ball is a little easier against the Jaguars than it is against the Niners. So, um Starting out, you know, we're taking advantage of that. Uh, but he, he does pick it up. You know, he picks up his play. He uh, uh, stops my running game, and uh, he definitely turns it around uh, in the second half. So you guys will see that coming up. So uh, right there, man, we send the edge thing, and uh, big old Stank Willis comes screaming through the A-gap, and we get ourselves a sack. So we force a punt. So we have an opportunity right here to go up 21-0 to zero and, you know, potentially just knock him out of this game very early. So... You know, as you see, man, just the, the, the heavy blockage that we are getting, you know, a lot of the pancakes, uh, just a, a lot of uh, good blocking, giving us just wide open lanes to run through. And, you know, when you're going up against uh, a team like the Jaguars, that's typically what you want to attack, right? Ring around to Rosie, and there we go, and X was wide open right there, overthrows them. The next receiver was trailing, didn't get no reaction, which is a little frustrating to see two guys not do anything. Right there, we had the inside position, but uh, Kaepernick decides to just overthrow him. Uh, really quick out route right there to pick up the first down. And I don't, I don't play with the Niners too much. I want to say in Madden 25, as we go for the D-bag, though. Woo, that was sexy, though. I want to say in all of Madden 25, I probably played a good, definitely less than 10 games with the Niners. Look at this. Look at this right here. He stumbles. He hits me with the bag juke, and he is gone. Right before halftime, he goes on ahead and takes the kickoff back, and he gets ball back. That right there was a huge change in momentum for him. Like, that right there was huge. You know, he fumbled. I mean, he didn't fumble. He muffed it. Like, on the one-yard line, he picked it up, and then he was just gone. And I was just like, you have got to be kidding me. How in the world was he able to take that back? So, uh, he made some adjustments. You know, um, uh, the whole second half, he, he was run committing a lot more, and he was actually choosing right you know what I mean? So, like, in strong uh, ace in the uh, pistol playbook, you know, you can't really run commit down because it's a play designed for the outside and it's just not going to be no good for you. He was just choosing it, even though it's ground call, so he gets the ball back. But um, he was just run committing to one side and he was choosing right and um, he, he was doing a, a, a very good job of being able to bottle up the run. In the second half. So third and 15. He goes over the middle. We swap that down. Deny that quicker than the Puerto Rican. Try to get a lone fourth down. He decides to punt the ball. Right now, I'm thinking, um, you know, we ran the ball very well the first half. So second half, let's, you know, mix it up. Try and, you know, pass the ball. But right here, we definitely just want a little bit of breathing room. So we can go on ahead and uh, hopefully be able to pass a little bit more. Um, but like I said, man, he, he did a very good job of, of adjusting uh, as we are getting some pancakes right there. You're going to see uh, within this drive, he just does a very good job of bottling up the runs. Third and four, we run to the outside. We pick up the first down. Try to run him over. That right there was a bad move. I absolutely got laid the hell out. <laughs> so uh, he just he just made the proper adjustments, man, and and uh, did good on the runs, as you see. Uh, you know, I, I uh, cut down on the stiff arms on the Tigers. You know, no need to go on ahead and uh, just continuously uh, abuse them. Fourth down. You know, like I said, this is a situation where uh, we're not really just playing to win, man. We're just playing to have a good time and, and have fun. So we did go for it 
and uh, we called the run on like a fourth and 15 and we failed so uh but like i said that drive he was doing a good job of being able to uh uh, contain the outsides and that right there is obviously the number one thing about that run strong power is that you want to hit the outside it's FML. and this time we actually recover um if, if you can contain the outsides man then um you can do a good job of stopping that run so right there i tried a quick little out route but the safety just bites down and catches the interceptions which i did not see happening it's another FML. he recovers it almost took it all the way if he didn't tip so out of bounds so fourth quarter is here a little less than two minutes remaining catches me with an out route so good job on the scores makes it a one possession game now he has two timeouts so a couple first down wins this game and like i said man i'm not like in try hard mode i'm not gonna kill the clock i'm not gonna you know we're just calling plays that to you know have a good time man enjoy and that's what the live stream is about man if you get matched up with me just, you know having a good time man playing some madden you know being able to converse with you guys on a one-on-one -on -one basis and and you know have fun like i said if i happen to win i i, I do you know what i mean but um it's not something I'm a, you know, try, you know, very hard for. Like if I was just in a regular match or whatever, um, I just enjoy, you know, uh, playing with you guys and just having a good time playing Madden. So, um, videos coming to an end, man. We do end up winning this game, and uh, we end up coming away with our first two PS4. This is actually my first two PS4 games, and we end up with a nice clean sweep with the Niners going two and zero on the day with the Niners. And after that, I couldn't get another game in because uh, it just wouldn't let me. I guess with all the updates, shenanigans that was happening, it, it wouldn't allow me to play another game. But um, I will be live streaming the PS4 a lot more. So if you guys have PS4 and want to get a game in against me, that is your best opportunity. It's just being in a live stream and I go into a lobby and match up randomly with viewers. That is your best shot. So uh, check out the live stream. Link is in the description. That's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will continue to do online ranked matches on the PS4. Oh, no. See where I end up. Maybe I will make the top 100. Maybe the top 1,000. I don't know. We'll find out, but hope you guys enjoy. I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.